If all goes according to plan, Space Shuttle Atlantis will lift off Monday afternoon on a final service mission to Hubble. From suburban Washington, a small group of engineers will electronically signal every move made by the Space Telescope. Messages from the Goddard Control Room will first cross the continent, then to a satellite orbiting 22,000 miles up, and finally back down to Hubble, flying 350 miles above Earth. So here we're controlling the telescope, much as gets done for the shuttle down at Johnson Space Center. So the things that we do here, we have to prepare the telescope for the rendezvous. We have to point it in the right direction. We have to put our instruments in a safe state. You don't want a lot of power on when we're getting rendezvoused. Astronauts have spent hours and hours in a pool, underwater, practicing maneuvers to swap out the various scientific and engineering equipment. Over the course of five spacewalks, astronauts will install a new wide-field camera and a new instrument to analyze light as a way to determine the chemicals in space. Astronauts will also change out the original 19-year-old batteries, add new blankets to the outer skin of the telescope, and replace a faulty command module. All the spacewalks are a well-timed ballet. We're changing out or repairing four instruments. We're doing batteries, gyros, a fine guidance sensor, new outer layers on the telescope. There's a lot of activities that are going on, and to get all that to fit, it has to be really efficient. Astronauts have spent hours and hours practicing the maneuvers necessary to remove and reinstall the various scientific and engineering equipment. On the ground in Baltimore, Mario Livio will be watching this mission very closely. Hubble has crossed the boundary almost between science and general culture. It has become part of our culture. I mean, there isn't An astrophysicist, Livio has developed numerous theories about the universe based on data and images received from Hubble. Almost everyone on Earth has seen the impressive images produced by the Space Telescope. From spiral galaxies and star formations, to beautiful images of Jupiter and her moon Ganymede. The fact that you know that those things actually exist somewhere in the universe. I mean, they did not come from somebody's imagination. They really exist out there. And occasionally, they tell us a very detailed story. After nearly 20 years in space, Hubble will have a new lease on life to provide information for at least another five years. Once Hubble is fired up, the telescope will be an even better instrument for observing the heavens. Tom Ritchie, The Associated Press.